transform your photos with a dynamic parallax effect in Photoshop and CapCut. The project will look like this. If you don't have Photoshop, no worries. You can use Photopea instead. The process is practically identical. First, start by selecting the areas you want to cut out. Then, refine your selection using the Select and Mask tool for more precision. Once you're happy with the selection, either copy the layer and hit Layer Mask, or simply right-click and choose Layer from Copy. After that, erase the unnecessary parts using the Eraser tool available in Photopea also, or you can even use Photo Room for this step. Finally, make sure to export the individual parts as PNG files to keep them background-free, and save the background itself as a JPG. This step is crucial for creating that seamless parallax effect. In CapCut, the real fun begins once you've got all your cutout parts ready. First, you'll want to line them up just right. This is where your parallax effect starts to come to life. Now, to make things move, we're going to use keyframes. These little icons are the secret sauce for smooth animations. Start by setting a keyframe at the beginning of your clip. Then, move to the end of your timeline, but instead of adding another keyframe, try zooming in on your layer. This simple move creates an animation that brings your project to life. If you're new to all this and feeling a bit lost, don't worry, I've got you covered. I've made a full video tutorial on keyframes and animation basics, so check it out and you'll be up to speed in no time. To add some extra flair, I decided to create a reverse effect. I did this by making a compound clip and then applying the reverse feature. The result? It looks pretty awesome. Check it out! How to add 3D particles. To really elevate your video, let's add some dynamic 3D particles. You can find an image with particles and a black background on Google or from free stock sites. Something like this one I've got here. Once you've got your image, we'll zoom in to make the particles pop and then switch up the blending mode for a striking effect that seamlessly blends with your project. Ready to take your project to the next level? Head over to the effects section. There are tons of options to choose from. I've already shown you one cool effect, but now I'm going to show you how to create an instant 3D effect. Just a heads up, it's quick and easy, but the quality won't be top notch. Still, it's a great trick to have in your editing toolkit. Thanks for watching all the way through. If you found this video helpful, you're in for a treat. I've got two other popular videos on this topic that have really resonated with viewers. They've been some of the biggest hits on my channel. Dive into the full playlist right here to explore more in-depth tutorials and creative tips. You won't want to miss it. Enjoyed the video? Hit that like button and subscribe. It's completely free and helps me keep bringing you more awesome content.